Hello, welcome to the part 5 of Build Custom Room series. We are going to start off quickly by powering on our virtual machine. Well, if you come to this place, just start your machine and then uh, copy the external IP address. If you copy the external IP address, open your new machine and right click, click on edit connection and then put the new IP address here at the host section. Well, if you put the IP address, double click on it and then it's going to launch the new machine for you. Now that no machine is launched successfully, if the display is kind of not configured well, come to the corner here and then click on that place. Click on display and click on resize remote display. And it's going to resize whenever you resize the original no machine window. Well, now that we are in our virtual machine, we have to decide which operating system to build. So to do that, let me just show you a quick list of custom ROMs. I will have this link in the description so that you can access it. Also, if you have watched my first video, you will be familiar with this page. Well, as you can see the custom ROM list page here, we have thousands of ROMs here. And you can see these are just straightforward names of the ROM. So if you want to see a visual representation of all these ROMs, can you go and search TechKaran on YouTube? And then if you search TechKaran, he reviews almost all of these rooms and then you can see the kind of room you want to build to make everything easier for a beginner we are going to build a rising os and they have been using rising for a very long time now and also i have made the rising logo as my thumbnail if you have seen it in the video now if you can see that then let's begin building rising to begin building rising first thing we have to do is go to the rising os github page so to do that just open your web browser in this case i'm using my external web browser i'm not using a web browser inside a vm instance because i can copy things from my external page here and i can paste it inside this uh, this place so now I'll just come to this place and search for rising os or if you are on the custom rom list just go to the r section and then look for the rising so rising os click on it This is the rising os github and we now that we are on the github we need to go to the manifest page it can either be manifest or it can either be android in my case it is manifest so in my case it is android not manifest other roms can be manifest so let me just search for pixel os something like that You can see that pixel os here has manifest instead of having the android that rising os have so now that you have the manifest here or android can you keep this in mind and don't forget about it so now it is on manifest at uh, rising os so just click on the android here and if you click on the android i did a mistake by saying manifest it is android so now you can see at this part we are in the manifest page and this is where we begin building our room well we have to understand the branch here and i explained branch in the last video which is the part four and i explained about what git branches are so please if you don't know what this is go and watch my last video and you are going to understand it well now that we are inside the manifest page we have to begin building our room by going into a vm instance also let me explain this to you you have to create a folder you have to create a folder where you will put your file well my machine just disconnected let me reconnect and then i'll get back to this video i have faced it well if you wonder what happened it's just my connection that cut off so you just have to make sure you have a stable connection and you can be able to move on well, we have to create a directory that the rising OS will be inside. The reason why we'll be creating a directory is because the files that you will be uh, building, the files involved in rising OS or any other operating system are many. And there will be a time you have to delete them. So if you have it on a directory, it makes it easier to do that. So for that reason, I will be creating a folder. Well, I'll be using the CLI so that you can be able to know some cool Linux commands to move along with. 
So I want to make a directory which the name will be rising with. So you just have to type mkdir which stands for make directory and then the directory name. So I want it to be rising OS. Click on enter. Now we want to move into this directory. So you just type cd which stands for change directory and then the directory name. Also, you can click on the tab key to autofill and I'll go into it. Now you are inside the rising OS directory. Now we have to begin by initiating our repo. So we have to initiate the repo by going back to the uh, manifest page. And in this manifest page, this is the command you can use to initiate. It. And it's on a manifest page of every custom ROM you would ever come across. So here you can click on this icon to copy it. Also, uh, everything here is highlighted in my previous video. So please check it out to learn more about GitHub. Now that you have uh, copied the initiated uh, initiates, you just have to log into your GitHub. So to log into your GitHub, type git config dash dash global then user dot email so here you have to put your email address you are not actually logging into it but you are configuring your user profile so let me just type my email here very quick now let's do the same thing but here we'll change the email to name yes, to yeah name so you have to type your username there and this is my username on github so click on enter and now you have been able to configure your gates with your email and your name so now you have to paste the repo initiate command that we copied and then hit on enter well you might see uh some messages on screen asking you if you have seen any color or any other thing please uh, respond to those messages as you can also make it appropriate so that everything goes smooth your way well, we have initiated the repo and this one is actually for people who already have uh, cloned it, people who has already cloned the uh, Ryzen OS and then uh, you need to, you are cloning it again. So for that reason, you have to uh, do this if you know you have cloned it already, but you need to copy these two command and then you need to make sure it is installed. So just paste it in your terminal and then type your sudo password. Well, it says dpkg was interrupted, so I can do the dpkg configure to configure it. So let me do that really quick. It has worked. All I did was to run sudo dpkg dash dash config dash a and then it ran all this and then everything is now good to go. Well, I have type the command that we uh, typed earlier so after the git lfs you should do uh, git lfs install and then you can see that everything is initialized and it is ready well you have to run this thing before you initialize uh, before you paste this command the initiate command so please make sure that you have done that now after you have done it well let's go to our web browser and then we don't need to do any of this because we don't have anything in the repo yet so um if you go to this place let's go back to the file mm -hmm. let me show you this when you come to this side and go to the rising os uh come to this page and view hidden files and in the repo you can see we have uh this one let's go to this place you can see that we have some uh gate configurations here so this is what initiates the command and then we when we repo sync it will sync what we have seen you can see so it will sync everything and then we can be able to move on so uh if you know you have initialized it already please make sure you run this command 
so after uh, you can just copy all of it like this if you copy it come to this page and then just paste it as usual and then just hit on enter just like that and then it's going to do the work for you what well, we have initial uh, we have initialized the repo already so what we have to do is to repo sync so you have to copy the repo sync command and then come back here and then paste the repo sync command and then you have to sync the github repo so all you have to do is to paste it and hit on enter as usual well i have i will post this video for the repo sync to take place when it finishes then we'll move on i am happy to announce to you that the repo sync is done without any error well you can do this without getting any error but at the instance where you get an error is when you have a failure in the network or maybe you suddenly is uh, syncing a repo that they are currently working on so if in case the repo they are working on the repo i mean they are updating the rom and then you try to sync it that is when you get errors so you have to wait for the update to finish so since our own there's no any updates so our repo sync is done in case you have any error that you it's you find it hard for you to understand kindly message in my telegram channel or i'll leave some telegram channels in the description so that you can reach out to them for help well in the next video we'll be learning how to adapt the device trees into this custom rom so that if you build it it builds for the device so see you in the next video